No one will ever break this man's record for taking NBA photos. It's Andy Bernstein, the dean of the NBA Photogs. Not only captured LeBron passing Kareem earlier this month, back in 1984, you got Kareem passing Wilt for what then was the scoring lead. What was similar, what was different about those two historical nights? Well, there was a lot of lead up to both of them, Neil. I mean, uh, we knew going into that game in Las Vegas, by the way, a Utah Jazz home game randomly in Las <laughs> Vegas, right? Uh, that he needed, I think, 22 points or something to, to break Wilt's record. So it was kind of a given that it was going to happen that night, but there was so much buildup in L.A. Of course, it wasn't social media in those days. And then fast forward to LeBron breaking Kareem's record, a lot of social media, a lot of stuff going on. So, you know, we were all kind of sweating that would he get it that night? We have to come back two nights later. Luckily <laughs> for everybody, you know, we all could breathe this sigh of relief afterwards because he did get it that night. Were you the only media member to shoot Kareem passing Wilt and LeBron passing Kareem? I hate to show my age, but, <laughs> but yes, sir, I think I was the only media member in attendance at both events, yes. <laughs> uh, history made. All right, it, it's All-Star Weekend. Friday is also Michael Jordan's 60th birthday. Mm -hmm. So we asked you to bring you, uh, uh, pictures of Jordan that resonated with you. Why did you pick these? Well, you know, he's turning 60, which is <laughs> unbelievable to even think about. But I put these in because they're very poignant moments. You know, Kobe trying to pick the brain of, uh, you know, a veteran Michael Jordan. Michael actually talked about that um, during Kobe's memorial. You know, going up against the guys for his final time in Atlanta in 2003, that was kind of important for me. So, you know, All-Star Weekend is near and dear to my heart. You know, I did, uh, I think, 36 in a row. <laughs> so, you know, it was a pretty good run. Well, near and dear to your heart as well is Kobe Bryant. Yes. We asked you to pick something All-Star related to Kobe. You mm. chose this. Why? Well, you know, here's Kobe, the you know the rookie winning the slam dunk contest, and then you know he's he you know he's the young Mamba. I mean, I had to put that in there. It was so early in his career and meant so much to him, but meant so much to me as well to be able to go back in the files and and find these photos of, of the very young Kobe Bryant. Do you have a favorite player that you photographed? Well, I'd, I'd have to go to the Mamba. I mean, you know, he was in front of my lens for 20 years, Neil. And, you know, Kobe was just so gracious, so welcoming. Um, you know, I was able to get into the inner sanctum with him and, and document um, really what made him tick. You know, that was the essence of our book. And that's the legacy that he's left for me to kind of carry through. All right, if you don't see him courtside, you can catch Andrew on a podcast, Legends of Sport. Where do I get that? Well, our home base is iHeart, but you can get us on any podcast platform, Apple and Spotify, as well as on our YouTube channel, Legends of Sport. So tune in. Andy Bernstein, always focused.